So the question says, dilute hydrochloric acid was reacted with magnesium ribbon and the volume of hydrogen gas evolved was measured for, for the first 80 seconds. You have volume here and you have uh, time here. So it says, what was the rate of production of hydrogen? How do you find the rate of production? So the rate is just equal to the change in what? In volume over change in time. Now we know that this is just gradient. That's all. Because the change of volume is in the y-axis. The change of time is in the x-axis. And when we say change in y over change in x, we just mean what? Gradient. So we can just find the gradient and we'll be fine. So we are going to pick up a point that is close that, 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 that we know that we can find uh, uh, change in volume and change in time properly. So which volume can we get? Okay, what if we get from here, from zero to there? Okay, so it, we find the change in volume in time and the change in what in, in volume. So the change in volume is starting from there to there. And the change in time is from there to there. All right. So change in time, change in time, just equal to 40. Zero minus 40 minus zero, we get 40. Then the change in volume is from here. We have z from sorry, from here is zero. Remember, we are finding gradient, right? So from all the way from there to there. Now from here, when look at here, this is 10. Eh? So 10, that should be 10. Uh, let, uh, let me erase this part. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's giving me 16 from there to there. Something like 16. So we are going to say the rate okay, is equal to 16 over 40. So let's get the calculator. And work out the answer. So this is 16 by, by 40. 0 0.4. Wow. 0 0.4 is exactly here. Thank you. So you, you can get any part, any two parts. You can even get from there to there. You find the difference. You find the change in here and the change in there. The answer is going to be the same. Thank you.